Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another 5 star bronze character gameplay preview video. And today we got Alexa Bliss, Play or Pain. And oh, look at that! Look at that! She's got little flippy things. The hair's still stuck though. I don't know why the skirt moves and the hair doesn't, but uh, hey, if this is your thing like me, if you like flipping people around in the main menu there, you got something on this one, all right? But uh, no gear. No gear. She is a striker. Chaotic striker. Of course she's chaotic, right? Okay, she's a coach. Power gems generated from moves will add more percent damage on each attack. And protect gems generated from moves will protect or will reduce by an additional percent. So, you can use her for power or you can use her for protect all the way up at 9k 25 percent more so this is going to be an excellent coach for your power gem people or your protect gem people so in my case i run hall of fame booker t it's going to be excellent for his power gems i also run fandango it's going to be excellent for his protect gems so i really want to get this coach so we got the firefly funhouse link power gems generated for moves We'll add 11,000 more damage on each attack. Oh my. Oh my. Wow. That's crazy. So if you're running, if you're running Bray, oh my. Oh my. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane there. So. Let's go ahead and look at the first, uh, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't, uh, I didn't show you the four and five star moves. Four star move, running drop kick, five star move, mandible, claw. So, first move set here, it's gonna be a three star move set, okay? We're gonna run double blues with the black finisher. So, Twisted Bliss is the finisher. Deal, it's ten charge black deal, 67,000 damage and choose a two by three area to make into power gems of strength 20,000. So you're going to get six of those bad boys. We got two blue moves. We got a seven charge blue flying forearm. Deal 22,000 damage and choose four gems to make into black gems. The pin bar will not move. And then we got a leg sweep. She must have went to Cobra Kai. Uh, one charge blue. Deal 2465 damage and destroy two random blue gems. So when people first look at this, I'm going to tell you they're going to be inclined to put a trainer on the leg sweep to destroy more blue gems. And I'm going to tell you, that is the wrong move. You're wasting a trainer. Let's say you put a, a trainer on here and then you can destroy six blue gems with it, right? So you're going to do the move once. You're going to destroy six blue gems. But you could literally do the same thing if you just did this move three times in a row without the trainer. It's going to destroy two at a time. But it's going to get you to your ultimate goal because it'll refill itself. So everybody I've seen on social media talking about put Eric Rowan on there, put uh, Kofi on there, put... No, don't waste your trainer slot, all right? So for this, I'm going all power gem attack. So we're going to get through the cycle once, lay the power gems down, and then just destroy after that. So we're going take her last outlaw, 50% more from power gems. Shinsuke, 50% more. Now our power gems are 42,000 apiece. Nikki, 10% on power gems. And then I got Rhea Ripley for extra blue gem chance on the initial All right, board. so I'm going to go out here uh, against China here for this preview. Uh, striker versus Striker. We're out in the Royal Rumble Tour. And uh, I was going to go against the five-star silver for this, but I think I'm going to just save that for another video. Because I think it's going to be better suited on a different video than this one. Had another idea in mind. Plus, um, if it takes longer to put a five silver down and they hit their moves uh, because it's taking me that long to bleed their health out, then it's going to make uh, Bliss look like she's not as good as she is. So, Alright, we need to not cascade here. I need to hit that other blue move on turn one without putting the pin down. There we go. This is right where you want to be. So you want to keep using those, uh, destroying the two blue. And this is uh, exactly why I say that you will be wasting it if you put Rowan on there. Or if you put Kofi on there. 
Because you're going to break the same amount of gems. You're just going to have to click the move three times. So I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't waste it. Now, even though you got room on the pin bar, don't keep hitting that blue move once the finisher's full. Because you need to get these power gems on the board. Now we got the power gems down. Remember, these are nasty power gems, too. They're like 40k a piece. And then... This is the other reason you don't want to train her on this blue move. Because you want to hit this move as many times as possible. You don't want to hit it once and break all the gems. You see, look at that. Bam, 219. And you hit it again. And it's hardly pushing the pin meter. So this is what you do. Then you just go in and just bleed them out. And you just go in and bleed them out. I'm going to hit it again here. It's going to take my power gem blue. But if that drops another blue in, we can hit it again. Yep, and it did. So we can hit that. Drop, get that other blue gem up there. She's already dangered and it still would hit again. Then we can use this, boom. Doesn't matter, we're just trying to fill that finish. Ah, we didn't fill the finish. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me right now? Oh. I was just so focused on not looking at those power gems that I didn't even see it. Okay, we had something to push the pin meter there. Easy street. Either way, it was over next turn. And we lost, like, no health there. And that's a three-star moveset. Now, the reason I, I edited and went back and went against uh, a five-star bronze superstar... Because when I go against the silver every time, it's take you know, when people got 1.5, 1.8 million health, it's taken me a couple of turns to, to bleed that out. And if the gems weren't just right every turn. Alright, so that's move set one. Let's go ahead and... Uh, now, we can go ahead at the five star level and get this mandible claw here. And we could put that in. Choose five gems to make into black submission gems and do 15,000 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the board. Now, we can do this without power gems completely. We could run the same build, but instead of getting to power gems, we could just get to a sub. That would probably take a long time, though. You're going to do the same thing with the blue gems, but instead of hitting that finisher... You're going to hit a submission. Well, I mean, I guess eight turns. You could do you could do quite a bit of damage. Let's just do it. Because I, like, uh, I like using uh, black sub moves anyways. Okay. Just because you got the... Uh, just because you got a lot of black sub trainers and whatnot. So, Owen's going on there. So, now we got seven turn sub. Actually, I need to look and make sure we're not going against a sub coach. And we're not. So we don't have power gems now, so we're just still going for sub damage. Alright, 22,000 for 7 turns. I don't think I have a black submission damage on here. Yellow sub, purple sub, green subs. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not even... We're just going to leave it alone. I could put on some kind of jam reduction or whatever. That was a two health pack win, mind you. Alright, so same, same process. Same philosophy. Just going to keep... Spam and blue gems until we can use it to fill the black. Yeah, that board looked like a cascade board there. Uh, I'd maybe better to just take that now. I don't know. Before she does.
There we go. We'll go ahead and hit this. Choose four to make into black gems. One, two, three, four. Now, I could just swipe that and hit it again now, but I'm trying to showcase the sub here, so. That'll be just fine. Mandible Claw! Seven turns will wipe out all the MP there. Okay, well, she got out of that. Look at this Cascade board. This has been nuts ever since the first turn. This is like very, very, very slippery slope here. All right. Boom. We got a wild there. Whatever subs filled again. Oh, choose five gems to convert to black submission gems. I didn't even notice that. So we could have used it to refill itself. But I, uh, yeah, that's where I messed up. I don't even really think that's a big deal. Because this, I'm not really running this to recycle with it. I'm running this set just to, just to spam to the sub and hold her down. This might be more defensive, if anything, too. But you don't even need the sub to recycle black on this set, so... You could use that in conjunction with the finisher too, but I don't know. I think the two blue moves together is where it's going to be at either way. Because that move uh, isn't really going to do you no good. Unless the power gems are down, this move will do you good. But Without that choose move that doesn't push the pin meter, there wouldn't be a whole lot of way to fill the black moves up if not using the two blue moves together, so... I'm sure somebody will correct me. Comments will be going crazy. DJ don't know how to play. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fantastic. All right, we got our next turn. You tried, China. And even though I absolutely destroyed her, I'm going to get told how I play it all wrong. Did you hear that? That was the end of the match sound that already went by. Portal sounds all jacked up. Let's get it together here. Let's get it together here. Okay. So those two sets are down, and then there's also, uh... Just got some health steel on here, too. I like the first move set the best. Uh, that was just making them bleed out. So we do got a ton of health steal here. Part of my problem with these is you have nothing to make purple gems. These are the three moves we haven't used yet. So, tilt a whirl head scissors, deal 6100 damage and choose two gems to make into multiply gems of strength three. That's two charge black. Then we got Running Dropkick, Steal up to 116,000 health. DDT, Steal up to 116,000 health. Those are both 9 charge purple. We have nothing to make purple with. We can use Multiply Gems to try to help with making purple. But nothing else out of any of this, unless you're going to try to get real creative with the Flying Forearm Smash and create purple cascades with it. You could do that. Um, 
but I don't know. Okay, so for this, we're gonna get rid of all of these. We gotta get rid of all of our trainers. So I'm gonna have to get Roman on here. I don't have Zombie Rock, so I can get these up to 175,000 health steel. Um, I would think on here I would want more multiply gems and not stronger multiply gems. I don't know. Hmm. Choose two to make into multiplies of strength three. So I could get that up to five of strength three or two of strength five. Probably going to be better with Sin Cara on there than Matt Hardy. We definitely don't want Rhea on here. Because we don't want blue gems now. Yeah, I mean, I could get gem damage on here or gem reduction. I don't really have anything that's going to benefit. I don't have nothing for multiply gems or health steal on my coaches, so... There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll take less damage from green gems. How you doing? And from blue gems. How you doing? Okay. And let's see how this goes. Uh, this is going to be annoying health steel set. Alright. So at least we got a purple match on turn one. That's what we're looking to do. Then I'm just going to throw these off on some black gems in case I get a chance to hit for some damage with those later. Now we got our health steals ready. I'm not going to hit the health steals yet because she hasn't really taken any health from me. And at any time, if I can line up a purple match on my turn, I'll be able to refill those, so. Kind of what I want is to lay up and let her set me up for a purple match or something like that. See, now I got a purple match on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and zap her health now. And then I can refill those and have them ready to go again. Look at that. Bam! Give me that health. Give me all your health, girl. And then again, I'm going to throw those off on black gems in case I get a chance to do some damage with those. Bam! Refilled the purples. So she's... Oh, she's going to destroy... I forgot China destroys black gems here, so... There goes all my multiplies I had set up. And all of my chance of kick out. <laughs> um. Unreal. Ooh, there we go. Close. Oh, blue's gonna get us out. Okay, we got lucky there. Problem is, when she destroys all the black gems on the board there, then it doesn't leave me anything to kick out with. Alright, we got that health zapped. She's gonna be dangered here. Now, do we have one cascade on the board to push the pin meter? And we do. So, that's gonna be a full health, uh, flawless victory. So what do y'all think of Alexa Bliss, that coaching ability? Out of this world. She's really good on offense too, but the coaching ability for me, that's it's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. 25% on power gems as the coach. So you can get them all the way up to 125, 135% now. Complete cycle of power gem trainers and coaches. I love it. 
I gotta have her. I'm gonna be doing some pulls for her on my stream tonight. So if you want to check that out, I'll be live on Twitch. So, um, yeah, I also think the first move set was the best. Just spamming blue gems, hitting the blue shoes, putting the power gems down, going back through the cycle again. It's gonna work against a lot of people. So, uh, yeah, what do you think? What move set did I not do that you wanted to see? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time. Peace. Bum. Um.